what's up everybody god bless you guys today happy wednesday i hope everybody is doing well today as you guys can see from the topic your tears are going to be turning into joy and i really felt that from the lord and i'm on my way to an appointment really quickly to um do my my weekly weigh in amen because i've been trying to lose weight and i don't know if you guys can notice it in my face that i'm losing weight but i'm really really trying not to eat too much greasy crazy food and i know y'all like but patora you had that ziti yesterday girl <laughs> yes i had the ziti but i didn't have a lot of it okay so anyway i want you guys to just know today from the lord that if you got if you have been crying and you have just been going through the motions all week, all week, all week. I want to reassure you today that the Lord is going to have control over your situation. The Lord is going to have control over your problems. He's going to have control over your future, over your destiny. Okay. And I want to also remind you that the devil, he has no power over your problem. He has no power over your circumstance. And it's some, this is why it's so important for us to get into the word every single day. It's so important for us to stay connected to the preachings, stay connected to the word of God so that we can have a positive mindset. Remember that the enemy is always coming to steal your joy. He's always coming to steal your peace. He's always coming to make you feel uncomfortable, uneasy about tomorrow. But Jesus Christ came to give us peace. He came to give us hope. He came to give us a new life. He came to help us, you know, understand the things that we can't see clearly. And sometimes it's a part of the process to cry. It's a part of the process to not understand, to not have control, to not understand what God is doing. And this is why us as Christians, we're always hopeful for tomorrow. We're always hopeful for what God is going to do. We got to trust in his will. God bless you, Elmana Blanca. God bless you, my love. Amen. You know, we have to be so... We got to keep that positive mindset, you know, and I know that sometimes as women of God, it can get discouraging or even men, even men of God also have that difficulty where we get discouraged easily. Right. And we get discouraged because we have Jesus. We have the word. We have so many, you know, pieces of arsenals that are at our disposal. God bless you, Pris Priscilla. God bless you, Shannon. Um, amen. I'm sorry. I can't be looking down too much. Amen. I'm keeping in my eyes on the roads but you know sometimes in life like i said things get difficult it, and when things get difficult and you're crying and things are getting difficult for you where you're not able to understand you know what it is that that god is doing when you're not able to get it when you're not able to understand you got to know that god is for you god has bigger plans for you right than you can even have for yourself and i just want to remind you you know about that today i want you to keep your eyes on the prize i want you guys to keep to stay focused i want you guys to stay motivated motivated i want you guys to remember who god is the god that we serve is mighty the god that we serve is powerful the god that we serve you know he's working things together for your good and this this um and this season where you are reaping tears of joy right or tears of of like you know you stressed out you got all these issues i want you to look at what psalms 126 says amen and it says those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy okay it says he who goes out weeping carrying seed to sow will return with songs of joy so i know i'm driving i know i shouldn't have been reading that but i wanted to just remind you guys to keep sowing keep on you know, keep your eyes focused on the vision. Keep your eyes focused on what God said. Keep your eyes focused on his promises. Keep your eyes focused on the word. 
stay connected to worship, stay connected to Jesus because he is the vine. Okay. Apart from Jesus, you're not going to be able to do anything. Okay. Because he is the one who you need to stay focused with and connected with. Okay. There are so many times where the enemy, he wants to make you feel like, oh, everything that you're doing is not going to amount to nothing. That is a lie from the pits of hell. Let me tell you something. Everything that we do, God has control. He is making everything prosper. He is working everything together for his good. So it doesn't matter how many times the enemy is, is, you know, doing witchcraft against you. It doesn't matter how many demonic powers you feel are overpowering you and your situation. You know, it doesn't matter how many times you're crying and you're, you know, you're crying up and you're staying up late at night. It doesn't matter. Not because your problem doesn't matter, but because to God, he has such a bigger plan for you and a bigger purpose that he's molding you for greatness. And sometimes those tears that you're reaping in this season, okay, that are hurting you, that you feel are not beneficial to your growth. In all actuality, God is working those tears together for your good. So that when those, you know, those tears keep falling, they falling on the soil that God is creating for your territory so that you can take over, so that you can move forward in the will of God and what he has called you to do. So I just want to share that with you guys really quickly. Okay. And I just want to leave you guys with that so that you guys do not allow the enemy to, you know, just have a foothold in your life. Don't let him have a foothold while you're at work rejoice today. Enjoy your work day. I don't care who stressed you out. Enjoy the day. Don't cry about your boss. Don't cry about your co-workers. Don't cry about people. Hey, God bless you, Pastor Anetta. You know, don't worry about people at church. Don't worry about your friends, your family, anybody bringing negativity into your life. Do not worry about them what they carry and what they doing in your life. Amen. So I love you guys. Let me get going. I bless you guys. And you know, like I said, just have a really amazing and powerful, um, you know, afternoon. Okay, guys, let me get going. Okay. God bless you.